What's going on everybody? Kiwi Stings here bring you another War of the Visions video. Today's video, we're going to overview our new girl, Happy Easter, it's our girl Esther, and what she brings to the table, how good she is, and also have a look at her weapon and her VC that also came out tonight. So let's start off with her weapon you can get off the bingo board. Uh, the Asterisk Alpha is what it is called. Great sword. Now, first hand look at this. I think it is a phenomenal great sword. As you can see, stat wise, max stats, HP 42, attack 177. We'll skip the magic, that doesn't matter. For accuracy, that is on the minus side, but still, it's still something, I suppose. And crit rate is at 8. Passive effects lightning attack up 30, and also slash resistance penetration 30. I think this is an amazing sword. Like, not only if you don't want to, don't really want to run this on Esther, this is a really, really good weapon for Cloud, I think. Um, you know, because you take away with the slash resistance penetration on here, you take away that slash attack up, which you could actually still put on uh, Trust Stones, for example. So that way you're still getting sort of a slash attack from somewhere else. But also I think slash resistance penetration is just a really cool passive effect to have on a weapon here. So yeah, phenomenal sword you can get off your bingo board. Uh, let's go on to the VC next. The Dreamiest of Eggs. Uh, max stats, HP 387, 143 attack, and 38 dex. Now, for the unit that is wearing it, you get 30% attack. And for um, Esther herself, she is going to get 10% HP and 15 critical hit rate. Not bad at all. Going down to the party effects... Here we go again, it sort of like uh, goes along with that weapon we just went across. Slash resistance penetration, you're getting 35 for the party there, along with 13% uh, HP. And also, when it is maxed out, you get single target resistance 20. Decent card, I think this is a pickup anyway for any lightning team that you may be running. Because um, a lot of physical lightning units are around in Cloud, now Esther, and also like Shuzol or Landu, if we ever get you know, his EX as well, but he still can be run in like a lightning slash team. Um, now let's go over to the unit herself, Esther. Here we go, 100 cost limit, um, you know, the basic move and jump, 3 and 1. Now, if you actually look at her TMR on this World of Cow, Storm Bunny Hood, we'll go over the TMR skill first. Um, increase debuff resistance 100 for 3 turns for allies, and also increase critical rate 30 for 3 turns. Um, as you can see, it says an accessory, it doesn't actually show any stats currently on it, so let's just pan over quickly into in-game here. I'll just swap screens here. As you can see, on the screen right in front of you, I'm just looking to the left, you have 168 HP on it. It also has 6 agility, so it is an agility um, TMR, which is awesome. And also defense 6. So let's just get back onto that word of calc now. Alright, and going on to her master ability, you get that basic um, master ability of the HP 10% for lightning allies and lightning attack 15 for lightning allies. Now hers, she also gets 10% um, HP for herself, along with slash and pierce resistance 10 as well. Very decent. Alright, let's go over to her stats, and we'll jump down to the bottom here, and we'll just look at her total stats. 4732, she's, uh, she's got 572 attack, really good. 6 defense off the, uh, off the top of that, and amazingly, she has 68 agility. Now, this is this is phenomenal speed for her. Like, this is on the higher end of agility for units that we have. Uh, Dex and Luck is a bit more on the low side at 254 and 224. She also has got a bit of crit rate. Um, now, her resistances are not too bad. 25 to Slash, Pierce, 15 to Strike, 10 to Missile. I mean, actually, I wouldn't say they're not too bad. I think that side is phenomenal, especially the Slash, which we know is a big one. The other bad side to it is she is weak to magic by 15% and you know magic is around a lot at this time along with it she's got you know the poison resist and also is this paralyzed yeah it is paralyzed paralyzed resist as well uh i think that is it for stat wise that we just wanted to go over 
Yep, so let's just go into her skills, the skill set. So she's then got four su uh, support skills here. Um, her first one, Ball Lightning Barrier, increased defense 20, defense penetration 40, but it also decreases magic resistance another 8% when it is leveled all the way up. Now, I think this is probably one you will uh, set along with Thief Lore. I think, you know, move plus one and more agility is just going to make her a fast, capable uh, unit to move across the map, whatever map you are running on at the time. But then you have a defensive side if you want to make her a bit of more of a bruiser, a bit more tanky and whatnot. There is the Holy Knight's Protection, 12 defense and HP 12% as well. She also has acquired AP up, 50 for self from the Thief. Um, so yeah, that could be an option. But I think the two that I would set the most is probably going to be the Ball Lightning Barrier and Thief Lore. Uh, counter um, skills. Here we go. Her skill herself is basically the exact same she's got paladin's guard times two so this is the one you'll be setting either or um, she also has quick action 20 percent um, chance to proc for 40 agility um, down to her skills now in the main job kit bolting impact is her cheap little move for 14 ap six cast it also decreases attack 43 percent for the target 126 percent damage and it is just pure scaling off attack here. Now the first and probably her best buff, I would say, um, when it gets EX upgrade, of course, you've got Pierce, Strike, and Missile Resistance, all 20 for self. So her resistances are going to look super nice. Um, and also, the big thing is she's also getting 30 accuracy. Going down to Bolting Slice, uh, reduce counter chance by 100 for 3 turns to the target. Now this is a really cool but different shaped thing. It's going to be right in front of her, but this is a 9 squared um, AoE move. Really interesting. I want to see how this goes. 165% uh, damage, and it also increases her defense by 20 at the start. Going on to a second buff here. Uh, reduces physical damage taken 50% and increase AoE resistance 15 for allies around her in a cross shape. Bolting Strike will look down at the um, updated one. What it has here, decrease single target resistance 20 for 3 turns at the start. 165% multiplier, it adds 30% hit rate or hit chance I should say. And this is the one that also heals her by 20% when performing a critical hit. Uh, as you can see, high, uh, rate, range height too as well. And it's only a... Um, yeah, basically all her moves are going to look like they have to be fairly close. So take into consideration that she will have to get up there. But like I said, the um, Thief agility and movement up one will definitely help with getting into them into the opponent's faces. Uh, we'll just go back and have a look. Range height 2. And what is her... Range height 1 is her low cost. Okay. Surging Storm. Her job level 25 is the physical barrier break for target. 165% damage again. Really similar damage. Basically all the same besides her cheap move. Um, increased debuff, debuff resistance 30 for 3 turns when performing a critical hit. And that is... That, this one is a better um, distant range attack, but it is a range height of 1. Going down to her precursor sub-job skills, she does have a Bolting Wave. Again, we'll just see 165% for both of these. Uh, decreased Critical Evasion 30 for 3 turns for target, 5 casts. And then she also has a Confusion AoE move um, in a cross shape for yeah 28 AP as well. I'm not too sure you'll be running that. You'll probably be running this Paladin, I'd say 99% of the time. Unless you're doing PvE shenanigans, then yeah, PvE-wise you may be running something else. But I'd say for this, it's all about the Immortal Spirit. A couple other ones to mention is maybe Taunting Blade, if you want her to take um, some sort of hate, just because she'd be a maybe a solid bruiser. And then also Sentinel. Uh, just going back over her... Um, main job too. If we actually look, most of her stuff is just all scaling off attack. As you can see there, look at that, just straight 120%. Yep, every single move is scaled straight off her attack here. So, yeah. 
that's uh, interesting to see. Now, going into her thief job, she does have the sneak attack here, guaranteed hit when attacking from behind, and guaranteed critical hit from attacking from behind, and this is a 210% multiplier. But like I said, you're giving up your paladin um, sub with that immortal spirit slash courage um, that you would probably want instead. She doesn't have steel heart, but she does have steel time, so you could have shenanigans there for PvE content. And into her limit burst, uh, increase defense penetration by 50. Uh, not too bad, 200% multiplier, and also something that's always good to get, uh, decrease slash resistance 38% for the targets. Uh, at the start, this is a 49 AP cost move, another cross shape, not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, overall, that is her kit. Um, my opinions on it, like I, I can't really say too much now, I don't know if she's going to be super strong. I don't think she is going to be that real high demanding or phenomenal attacker you might be looking for. Um, I think one thing that is lacking in her kit definitely is accuracy. She actually doesn't really have any sort of accuracy besides that 30% extra hit. I mean, she does get a 30, um, 30 accuracy buff here, but that is not going to do too much against evade units. So you might have to build sort of accuracy into her kit through you know equipment trust stones all that stuff but yeah um i think she's still going to be a solid unit i'm not too sure how good she'll be but we all said the same thing sort of like about ibarra and alana when she first came out we weren't too sure how good they were and they they all turned out phenomenal so yeah i can see her probably being suited well or you know overall it will just upgrade your lightning um element in your account but yeah we'll just have to wait and see i'll be building her and pull i've already pulled for her if you have seen my pull video and yeah i will definitely be testing her out in some different comps but yeah guys that is our new girl esther so that is it of the video guys i hope you enjoyed it and yeah best of luck with your pulls if you haven't done yours yet and yeah we shall catch you all next time wherever you are have a great day or night. See you later.